Welcome to Take Care guys, this is Sora here and today I'm back with the ROM installation video that you have you people all are asking me for. It is the Lineage OS. So as we all know that Cyanogen is not anymore in the position that it should be. So they have changed their name and it's now Lineage OS. That's the simplest way I can tell you about Cyanogen. I'm currently on AOKP. So I have to, uh, that's a pretty good ROM, AOKP is pretty stable ROM but still as you, all people asked us. Here is the Lineage OS. So download links, all other relevant forum links, and also the Hindi version of this video will be in the description. The links will be in the description with other also other few ROM videos as well. So we have to go to TWRP, select Dalvi system data and cache, and then wipe. So swipe to wipe has been done. Then we have to go back, and uh, we again have to uh, install. Now we have to install the uh, ROM zip. So here is the Lineage 13.04 4th January build and it's an unofficial build. No official support as of now and I will do the video when the official ROM comes. So after installing the ROM, we have to wipe the cache and Dalvik and then we have to flash the G apps. And as this, it runs on Marshmallow, we have to install the uh, ARM64 6.0 series. Then you can choose any variant like you want, Pico, Micro, Mini, Nano, <laughs> Aroma if you want as well. So that's up to you. But I personally pref prefer Pico. When it's been done, again, wipe caching. You can do it, you can neglect it, it's up to you, not a big issue. And guys, for more videos like this, more videos regarding Redmi 3S Prime or Redmi Note 3, we are trying to unlock the bootloader of the Redmi Note 3. When it arrives, when it happens, I will post more and more ROM videos. So for those videos, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe to our channel and do like this video as well. So Cyanogen mod welcome screen. That Cyanogen mod, that legacy. Well, uh, let's check whether it supports Wi-Fi network or not. Yes, it does support Wi-Fi. So here we are. In the welcome screen of these Lineage OS, and I present you the Lineage OS guys. And uh, the ROM is pre rooted uh, as far as I know. And you can see it runs on Marshmallow Lineage OS version 13.0 and a security patch of uh, 1st December, build date is of 4th January, and kernel version is by Ridai. Ridai, thanks to you. Bro, without you, I don't think this ROM would be possible. And all other people who have, uh, you know, contributed in this uh, ROM. So I want to thank all of them. But Rida's name came into my mind in the very first. So Android debugging. Um, so a lot of options are there that we, we can actually do with this kill back button. So a lot of features has been added for, uh, of Cyanogen's own features. That's a pretty good in, uh, inclusion, I would say. And the ROM is pretty good, like I said earlier. On the very first boot, we get around 1.9 GB free and that I would say it's expected. This is what we should expect from Cyanogen. And yes, Cyanogen uh, lineage OS, anything you want. Uh, app Themer is there. So yes, Themes does work. And let's see whether it works perfectly or not. Yeah, it works perfectly. No issues in this case. So I'm using kind of dark uh, pitch black kind of uh, theme and I like the fact. I like actually this uh, color well there is the pattern lock option and there is uh, I believe there will be the fingerprint option as well so it's my pattern it's pretty <laughs> easy for anyone to break and uh, well you can see it freezes it actually freezed right there I hope you have seen it so I'm uh, trying to unlock I'm trying to put my fingerprint then when I you know do the things you know we all know I have been uh, seeing, seeing a fix for people who are having issues with uh, you know fingerprint sen uh, sensor in their uh, redmi 3s or redmi 3s prime actually there has been a fix i don't know about that but i was uh, i was just uh, you know i was getting some rumors about that so i'm not sure about it if i'm sure i will let you know in my twitter handler or in my facebook page so make sure you follow me on there so let's check whether it supports a uh, sim or not so i'm using my reliance geo volt e uh, I believe it supports sim cards has been changed does support geo 4g so no no issues like uh, the resurrection remix and yes it does support enhanced 4g lt mode which means volte is supported and volte is supported so like i always do i'm gonna call a number oh, 
So guys, yeah, Volti calls are supported. I was connected to Wi-Fi and I did manage to call somebody. So which means yes, Volti calls are supported. And one more thing, guys. Uh, um, overall, I would say the ROM is pretty uh, stable as of now. I'm been using and I will post the screenshots of battery stats in my Facebook page or also in my Twitter handler. So make sure you stay with us. Camera works perfectly fine. I don't expect more from a 30 megapixel shooter. Let's check the video. So yeah, just a simple clip, nothing else. Let's check whether the video works or not. And guys, do use the ROM and uh, if you find any kind of bug or issue, uh, there will be links of the uh, official thread and uh, do let the developers know so that they can work on them. So i will i'm again uh, giving all the credits to the developers who have contributed in this rom you people are awesome so the music player works pretty fine audio effects is there and i believe and it's also worked fine uh, i've used it so yeah guys this is all for today do like this video if you want and do hit the vote down button if you think we still suck do subscribe to our channel for more videos like this other videos is in the description make sure to check that stay awesome stay subscribed i'll be seeing you